When John Aaron dies unexpectedly, causing King Robert Baratheon to ride north with the intention of asking Eddard Stark to replace him, the small council are left to run the kingdoms in his absence. Eddard is summoned to the small council upon his arrival in King's Landing. Varys greets him as he enters, telling him that the council members heard about his troubles on the King's Road, and that they pray for Joffrey's recovery. Eddard curtly responds, A shame you didn't say a prayer for the butcher's son, which disconcerts Varys. During Eddard's first meeting he learns that Robert has ordered a tournament to honor his appointment and that the realm has descended into debt. Varys provides Petter, Littlefinger, Bellish with intelligence that Caitlin Stark is traveling to the city incognito. She brings news of an assassin being sent to kill her son Bran. They meet with Caitlin and attempt to identify the dagger used by the cat spa. Varys, who admits that he does not know who owns the dagger, nor who sent the assassin is surprised when Littlefinger says that he lost the dagger in a wager to Tyrion Lannister. Unknown to Varys, this was another ploy created by Littlefinger to create further conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters. Varys joins the rest of the small council to discuss the rise in crime in the city as a result of the tournament. He is concerned about the capacity of the city watch to cope. In a private meeting with Eddard, Grand Maester Pycell implies that Varys was involved with John Aaron's death, poison being a favored weapon of eunuchs. Varys meets with Eddard Stark and frankly tells him that King Robert is a fool and likely doomed unless Eddard can save him. He confirms that John Aaron was murdered with a poison called the Tears of Lee and implicates the deceased Esser Hugh of the Vale in the murder, though he is unable to pinpoint who ordered the killing. He claims to be a man of honor, like Eddard, who only wants to keep the realm stable and at peace. In the passages under the Red Keep, Varys meets with his ally, Illyrio, the man who secretly harbored the last remaining Targaryen heirs, Viserys and Daenerys, and arranged the wedding of the latter to Khal Drogo. Varys informs Illyrio of how the new hand of the king, Eddard Stark, now has the same genealogy book that his predecessor read, and has met Robert's bastard son Gendry the same evidence which led John Aaron to discover the truth about Queen Cersei's children. Illyrio suggests the possibility that the same fate may befall Lord Stark as did his predecessor, but Varys states Eddard Stark is not the same man as Aaron was. Furthermore, he assures Illyrio that the conflict between the Lannisters and the Starks will soon escalate into a civil war. Illyrio protests that a war will not serve their purpose right now since Khal Drogo is not yet ready to send his army of Dothraki to invade Westeros for visories, thus reviving the Targaryen dynasty. However, Varys protests there is no way of delaying the incoming conflict, so the Dothraki must be urged to move faster, since, this is no longer a game for two players. Illyrio replies that it never was. Their discussion is overheard by Arya Stark, who is with them in the tunnels under the Red Keep. Arya tries to warn her father about what she heard, but she doesn't know who the speakers were, and out of context, all she understood was that her father has found the bastard, that the wolves are fighting the lions, and something about the savage. Despite Varys's meeting with Illyrio, later at a small council meeting he seemingly supports King Robert's proposal to assassinate Daenerys Targaryen. Varys has a tense confrontation with Littlefinger. Varys reminds Littlefinger of the incriminating information he holds. Varys knows of the illegalities going on in Littlefinger's brothels and his implication of Tyrion in the attempted murder of Bran. In turn, Littlefinger reveals he knows that Varys met with Illyrio for some reason kept secret from the king and council. Varys is present when Eddard is arrested for treason after delivering Robert's proclamation naming him protector of the realm. Varys visits Eddard in the dungeons. He is incredulous that Eddard trusted Littlefinger over him, and even more so that he warned Cersei what he was going to do. Eddard says that he wanted to extend mercy to Cersei's children, whom Robert would have killed if he'd known the truth. Varys bluntly tells Eddard that his mercy is what killed King Robert, to Eddard's shame. He also informs him that all of his household servants have been slaughtered, and his daughter Sansa taken prisoner, though he also informs him, truthfully, that his younger daughter Arya managed to escape the Red Keep, and not even his own spies can locate her. Varys then tells him that Caitlyn also no longer holds Tyrion as her prisoner, meaning that the Starks have nothing to barter with for Eddard's life. When Eddard suggests that Varys should just kill him, Varys says, Not today, my lord. As he departs, Eddard asks Varys who he truly serves. 
Varus, in a rare display of honesty, replies, The realm, my lord. Someone must. Varus returns to Eddard in his cell and informs him that Sansa appeared before the king to plead for his life. He tells him that Rob has called up an army and is marching them south. The situations of Eddard and those he cares about are precarious, but Eddard could help everyone and calm the realm if he confesses. Varys thinks that Ned, himself, may be spared if he will acknowledge the legitimacy of King Joffrey Baratheon. Eddard refuses, saying that he cares more for his honor than for his life. Varys changes his mind by reminding him that continued defiance could endanger Sansa. Varys is present at Eddard's trial outside the Great Sept of Baelor. The onlookers are stunned when Joffrey orders Eddard's public execution despite his confession. Varys, Cersei, and the council try to intervene, but can only watch as Eddard is beheaded in front of a horrified Sansa and the jeering crowd. As Eddard's headless body is dragged away, Varys stares at the ground, clearly disgusted by the spectacle, and later runs to aid Sansa as she faints from shock. Varys is present in Joffrey's court when the king sentences the singer Marillion to be maimed for mocking the royal family. Tywin distrusts Varys, telling Tyrion to execute him, Pycelle, or Bellish on, even a whiff of treason. Varys finds Littlefinger in the empty throne room once again, and teases him by asking him how he would proceed if he sat on the Iron Throne. The two rivals compare the different means, by which they both rose from humble backgrounds to become feared and powerful, expressing mutual admiration for each other's cunning.